Players don't understand how good Lethality is, by the way. There are some changes that went under the radar that made Lethality as strong as it is now in Season 14. Starting off with the most obvious one, in the first patch of the season, Riot changed Lethality to be true armored penetration with 100% effectiveness. This means that in the early mid game, the stat is basically 20 to 30% more effective than it was in previous seasons because the old version used to have a scaling aspect to it and only started at 60% effectiveness. This is great for everyone, but it's especially good for bot laners whose lethality used to be weaker because they were almost always behind solo laners in EXP. Another thing that happened was when in patch 14.2, Riot Games removed armor shots from the game. At first, this might seem small, right? But if you actually look at the numbers, it's not. If somebody in the old days took both armor shards against lethality champions, which was not that uncommon amongst mid laners because the 12 armor you could get this way really amplified the value of your health regeneration during the laning phase. Now this would have meant that a squishy level 10 champion such as Victor would have had 75 armor instead of the 63 that he currently has. Which after lethality calculations it approximately means that without the shards they now take 8% more physical damage and against lower level 80 carries it's around 10% more damage. For context, Ninja Tabby's basic attack damage reduction that people like to obsess over is only 12%, but here we're talking about all physical damage, not just basic attacks. Now, an elephant in the room is that mythic items are gone, and Ghostblade, for example, is weaker now. But first of all, this is true for every single class, and Ghostblade also got a big price cut as a compensation that allows you to get your second next Dirk much earlier than you did in previous seasons. And the movement speed for Ghostblade is still there, even with the cheaper price of the item, which actually allows you to look for roams or deep wards in an enemy jungle earlier in the game than you could before. Another reason for why Lethality is great now is the new Serelda's Grudge. The slower the item got hit, and rightfully so, it was so overpowered that it single-handedly enabled some cheese builds. Bro! Like, it's literally a f***ing mage! I can't stand this playstyle! I should have dodged. This is so... Why does it Maiden expire like Timbers and Daisy? Because everybody in Riot Games needs to be put into the dirt and give it wedgies. That's why, bro. However, most players I've talked to don't actually know that the damage part of Cyrildas was significantly buffed against targets below 300 armor. This is even true when you don't have a lot of lethality. For example, take this build. If you go Ghostblade into Cyrildas Grudge, you're going to spend around 7,000 golds with boots included. And usually, at this stage in the game, an average 80 carry is going to be around level 11 with 65 armor. If you compare what the old Cyrilda would do against 65 armor, it would only reduce it by 30%, which makes it 45 armor. The new Cyrilda, at 2 items, first reduces it by 24%, and then removes 15 flat because of the lethality that it already has, which makes it 34 armor, and with Ghostblade on top of this, makes it 16 effective armor, which now is getting dangerously close to dealing true damage to AD carries just at 2 items. To give you a practical example as to what these numbers and percentages mean that I've mentioned in the video so far, combined together they would make a full duration misfortune ultimate deal 400 more post mitigation damage at only 2 items, so it's no joke. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to quickly show you guys in this video. Um, I promised my mom that I'm gonna be a YouTuber and I barely have any subscribers. It would really, really, really mean a lot to me if you could just subscribe to my channel, as I know most of you aren't. And hopefully this is beneficial to you as well, since I'm currently making multiple educational and fun videos you guys might enjoy. So that's it. Please subscribe. It really, really helps a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.